In this tutorial, we're going to learn to work with freeform questions in Articulate QuizMaker 360. So in the previous tutorials, we built a simple quiz question like this. And then we went on to the slide view where we learned to change the layout and the look of the quiz question. And now we're going to learn to build a quiz question that's similar to this. And essentially we're going to use a freeform feature. What that allows us to do is put anything on the screen. So essentially we construct the screen and then we can determine which objects on the screen become part of the quiz. So in this case the characters become selectable. So I can select a character and then hit submit and get my feedback. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and start in our practice group. And we're going to choose a freeform question. Now you'll notice you can build them from scratch or we have these really great looking templates that come with Articulate 360. Uh, these are professionally designed. They look nice and uh, they'll speed things up for you. You just have to uh, swap out your content. For this tutorial we're going to use the pick one and build it ourselves. So let's go ahead and insert that. And now you can see I've got my uh, blank slide and we're in slide view. So let's go ahead and construct it. At this point we're just going to put content on the screen. And then uh, we're going to determine what content we want to make part of our, our assessment. So I'm going to insert a text box first. And uh, we'll just draw the text box. We'll call this finance training. And I'm going to size the text up a little. Uh, this looks good. We'll make it white. And we're just going to go and choose one of these colors. I'm going to use this crimson looking color and I'll stretch this out a little. So that's kind of our header. And then the next thing we need to do is add like a little gray box with our question in there. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a text box. And um, I've got this here. I'm going to copy and paste from our practice text. So that's our question. Who processes your expense reports? And let's go ahead and make that a little larger. And um, this actually is fine. And we're going to choose a gray uh, like one of these grays here. We'll just choose this one and we'll make that text white as well. So uh, two things I want to do is turn off the outlines. And again this is showing you how to use the tool as well so you can see the different features and how they work. I'm just going to overlap that a little bit so it's all right. So we got a little bit of overlap on that. And now what I need is I'm going to have my three choices. So I'm just going to copy this and I hold control and then drag it with my mouse using the left click button and then I drop it. And so the first one is going to be VP Finance. I guess we can keep it all capital. Um, so we do that and we'll just put that here. I'm going to duplicate that three times. So we've got it here. And then we'll copy the X1 as Human Resources Manager. We'll just uh, paste that in there and then we're going to do Accounts Payable Clerk. And we'll paste that into here as well. All right, now you'll notice that the boxes are different sizes uh, and that's because uh, there's different text in here. We're using text boxes. Now a couple things you could do is one is you could just use the same size color box and put the text in there. That's probably what I would normally do. Or you can make sure these are all the same size. And I'll show you uh, how to do that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make these all the same size. Let's go ahead and drag this out a little so they're all on two lines. Now if we click on this here and you go to Format uh, you can see that it's 200 pixels wide. So what we want to do is make sure that this is 200 pixels wide. And we want to make sure that this is 200 pixels wide. All right, so they're all 200 pixels wide. Uh, we can kind of line these up. This looks close enough. Let's select all three of them and we're going to distribute them. So we're going to go to Align and we're going to choose Distribute. And now they're equally aligned. Now, um, Two things I'll do. One is I'll center these. So I'm going to use the centering on the text. So they're centered. Uh, the other thing is let's go ahead and change these so that they, these are all uppercase, which we have now. Um, actually, maybe I don't want them all uppercase because I don't have to mess with that. So we'll capitalize each word except for 
SVP. All right. So I want this box to be the same size as this. Because it's a text box, when I click and drag, you can see it's not staying. If I right click on the text box, you can see that I'm going to have, well, you can't see it here, but there's a, a format shape. And you can see you've got some options and one of them is text. And you'll see that it says resize shape to fit text. We're just going to go ahead and select do not auto fit. Hit close. Now I can take this and drag it and it's perfectly lined up. Now they're all the same size. Now one other thing I'll do is I'm going to select all three of them and I'm going to come over here and align the text and put them in the middle. So now um, they're all kind of in the middle. That looks good for what we're doing. Uh, one other thing that we were going to do is we were going to put the little bar on the bottom. So let's go ahead and insert a shape. And I'm going to just insert the shape here. And what we're going to do is um, send that to the back. So a couple ways you can send it to the back. Uh, one is you can just drag it on the timeline. That's one way. The other way is you can right click and select send to back. Okay, so we've got that. This looks fine. Now I want this to be, we'll just make it crimson and then we'll keep the boxes gray. So I'm going to use this. Go to Home, Format Painter and apply it to the rectangle and then you can see it picks up the same formatting. So now we have everything. This is basically set. Now what we want to do is put our characters on screen and our characters are going to be what's selectable. So let's go ahead and insert our characters first. So we're going to insert, go to character. Now you'll notice we've got a number of character types. So we've got photographic, illustrated, realistic, which are these here. And then we have the older uh, cartoon characters here. So I'm actually going to go with the illustrated realistic. Now you'll notice that some of them uh, have this little blue blue thing there and some don't. That means they need to be downloaded. So these I've already downloaded. So let's go ahead and insert a couple of characters that are already downloaded and then I'll show you how to download one. So we'll insert her. She's our VP. So I'm going to select her and go to insert. And I'm going to crop her so we can see her a little bit better. So we'll we'll do that. Let's bring her over here. Sides are up a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Um, maybe sides are just a tad more. Okay, so we got a character here and she looks kind of centered in there. All right, so we've got our VP of Finance. Now I can insert another character. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to hit Control Shift and copy the character, move her over. That's close enough on the centering. And then I'm going to change the character. So I've got her selected. I'm going to go to Character and I can choose a different character. We're going to go ahead and choose uh, a realistic illustrated character. And we're going to choose one we already downloaded. Um, let's uh, see which one we like. So let's let's go ahead and insert Oliver here. And we'll insert Oliver. Oliver is going to be our human resources manager. And I'm going to click and drag the character over one more time. And let's go ahead and in this case we're going to use a downloaded character. So let's change the character. And I'm going to select a downloaded character. So we'll just choose Shannon here. So I'm going to download her. So you can see the process of downloading. And now she's in here. So I'm going to select her and you can see that she's here. And let's go to insert. And now we've got our accounts payable clerk. Now um, they don't look all that happy. So we're going to go ahead and make them all happy. So let's change the expression to happy here and I'll change his expression to happy and I'll change her expression to happy. You could also, now she's happy but she's kind of got her hand out. So let's uh, let's change her pose. So I'm going to change her pose. You can see I've got a number of options. I'm just going to choose this one and this looks fine for the demo. All right, so now we have three characters. One thing that I think is a good habit is to get used to titling them. So just so we know what they are. So we know this character is the VP of Finance. And we know this character here is the Human Resources Manager. So I'm going to double click and just type that in there. And then we know this is the Accounts Payable Clerk. So, All right, so now I know 
what the characters are and it's going to be a lot easier for me to select those. So basically all we did right now is we just assembled our screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to a free form question. And uh, easy thing to do is just go to form view and we're going to make uh, some objects on the screen selectable. In this case we want the three characters to be selectable. So I'm going to select the VP of Finance. I'm going to select the HR and I'm going to select the clerk. And that's why titling them really comes in handy. And then we know the AP clerk is the right selection and we have our feedback and we'll keep everything there default. One thing you'll notice is if you didn't title things, you get the little red box. You see that you get the little red box as you're making selections and so it's an easy way to identify what you have. Oh, one last thing I'll show you is uh, when you select an object you're going to have a selected state. So I'm going to make the selected state a little brighter here. So now we'll have an orange, really bright orange selected state. Let's go ahead and preview this. And now we have our nice looking slide and when I select a character you can see I get this selected state to indicate the characters being selected. Now if you want to clean it up you can put the character behind the box and then the glow will look a little better on the alignment. But that's basically it. So essentially when you're working with a free form slide you can add content to the slide so it's just assemble your content and then you can use the free form feature in the form view to make your selections and then uh, convert that to a quiz question. So essentially anything you place on the quiz uh, whether it's text or images or whatever anything can be converted into a quiz question. So if you have any questions go ahead and jump in the community and ask and be sure to watch the other tutorial so you learn more about QuizMaker 360.